Hey guys and welcome to my apartment tour. This has been a super requested video and I'm so excited to finally be sharing it with you guys today. First off though, if we don't know each other yet, my name is Ashlyn and on this channel I make videos three times a week about minimalism and intentional living. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, definitely be sure to do so below. I don't want to take any more of your time though, let's go ahead and jump right in. This is our apartment. But we just use it to store our keys, our wallets, purses, things that we need to grab just as we're going out the door. We also put mail there till we sort it, just small things like that. But it's a really nice way to be able to have a moving tray uh, that looks good but it's also super functional. So right after we come into our entryway, we have the kitchen. So this thing is absolutely massive, at least twice the size of our last kitchen. I love the island that this thing has. We've got two really nice target tables or seats rather just to the side and it's perfect just for being able to sit at the table and enjoy a meal. Uh, kind of also do some work kind of standing up from the island. But yeah, we have also got a ton of space as far as cabinets go. Honestly, we probably use only half of them. Like we've got cups and plates and stuff, but the uh, top ones are all completely empty. Not that I could reach them if I wanted to anyways, because I'm short still. So, uh, but yeah, so we have that. We've got not too much on the counters for the most part. I like keeping them as clean as possible. We do have a knife set and our microwave oven, uh, and then just a handful of utensils and spices. Uh, things that we use all the time. Also have a little bit of a fruit bowl here, uh, just to let fruit ripen, but yeah, for the most part, we keep everything clean and clear. In this video, I'm not going to go too much into all the things that we have in our cabinets. If you want to see what's in those, definitely go ahead and comment below and I'd be more than happy to film a kitchen tour for you. But yeah, this is our kitchen. It's really nice. I love the granite countertops. It is so fantastic. If any of you guys saw our last apartment tour, which if you haven't seen, I can link up right here. Uh, we had the smallest, most awful kitchen ever, and so it's so nice being able to live in a place now where I can actually prepare a meal with more than one person in the kitchen at a time. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about our kitchen. Let's go ahead and move to our dining room. So, I mean, the dining room is really just a continuation of the kitchen, but welcome to our dining room. Uh, this is a set of tables and chairs that Christopher actually uh, recovered the seats from and restained. We got this off of Craigslist and we absolutely love this table and it fits perfectly into this little space. Uh, I like having a little bit of greenery out so I've got some eucalyptus. And then this painting is one of my favorites that Christopher has done. Uh, and it's just a bunch of mason jars that he painted. So yeah. Very, very little going on in our dining room. So let's go ahead and move on to the living room space. So welcome to our living room. Uh, this entire area is just kind of laid out, kind of studio-esque, where everything's in one room. But yeah, this is our amazing IKEA couch, which uh, I've had so many of you guys asking where we got it. It's from IKEA. We got it for 600 American dollars, and it is pretty much the best thing that we bought in our move. Uh, this nice little coffee table is also from Ikea. I think it was $25. And I just have my little aloe plant right there. The best thing about this uh, is when it comes out. Ta-da! So yeah, Christopher and I will sit and watch movies on here all the time. It also doubles as a guest bed so that we can have extra people. Uh, coming over to our house and yeah I absolutely love this you guys can see the painting right here uh, this is actually another piece of Christopher's he did it with I think like five sharpies or something like that and uh, that was his first present to me on our first Christmas so yeah uh, that's another one of my favorites and yeah I think that's pretty much everything you have going on on this side 
really not that much in this space over here. We have our lovely little lamp, which I have no idea where it's from and I've had it for a really long time. So that's nice. We have our TV and just a couple of drawers from, I think this is a Target console we have here. Um, and inside of it, we just keep uh, all of our games because Christopher and I both love the games. So yeah, that is everything in our main living space. We also have a Coldplay poster, but I um, might just show you a picture of that. So yeah, moving on to your left, we have our bedroom. This is probably my favorite room of the house because it gets the most natural sunlight, which I love. Uh, and then also it just has this really like nice, calm, relaxing, pastel-y feel to it, which I mean, I love too. So yeah, we have our bed, I guess we can start off with. We have it on the floor because we used to have a giant bed frame and we didn't want to move the bed frame to Charlotte with us and we didn't like the bed frame to begin with. So we just got a plain bed frame. We also have two pillows and this comforter set I got for my birthday and it's washed linen so I kind of like the sort of wrinkly type of effect that it has on it. We also have a nice blanket here which I don't know if you can see but it kind of rotates between living in the bed and the couch depending on where I am at the current moment because I love snuggling up. Uh, let's see, we also have this tapestry right here which my mom and I actually found at a garage sale several years back and I've always loved traveling and I thought that this like kind of tapestry map of the world was so cool. Uh, so we just have that hung over our bed and then instead of side tables we just have these little pallet boxes that I got from Michael's in our old apartment. They were serving as our side tables stacked on top of each other but now they work perfectly for our bed and then we've just got things like chapsticks, some lights, candles, stuff like that. Uh, for creating good, you know, coziness in the nighttime, and who doesn't need chapstick right before they go to bed? So this chest is something Christopher made for me right before we got married, and he and his friend basically like made the entire thing from scratch, stained it, and I absolutely love it. Since it matches with our side tables, I figured it would go well in this room. We just keep our like important documents in here, bouquet of flowers for my wedding and a couple other things along those lines. So that is what we keep in there. Moving up, we have my palm tree Jerome. We actually got him at Ikea for $15 and I love all of my plants but I have a special place in my heart for him. Uh, he's a palm tree and I don't know, he just like looks so cool, brings up such a fun kind of feeling to this room. So yeah, I love him. And then right down over here we have uh, Jeffrey, Jeremy, Jeffrey, no it's Jeffrey, <laughs> my snake plant, and I got him before we moved uh, from a local nursery, and then the vase he's in is from Ikea, and then I also have my lovely Ikea mirror here. Uh, we didn't actually have any kind of like standing mirror that you could see your entire body in before we moved, so we ended up picking up this mirror from Ikea, and I think it's a really nice addition to the room, just kind of uh, brightens up the space a little bit more. And yeah, it just kind of injects life. Uh, I don't know, I feel like this room just feels very like peaceful and calm and restful. And I love that. This is our bathroom. We have this massive mirror going all the way down here. Uh, we kind of have two sides of the getting ready area. So I've got these two uh, little drawers and then Christopher has those two. And then we each have our own sink. So we keep both toothbrushes there, um, but other than that, you know, it's very simple. Honestly, you know, we wouldn't want to store that much uh, on the countertops anyways, but yeah, we have a bar of soap and then some pump soap for Christopher and toothbrushes, a candle, and one of the lanterns that we have from our wedding. We also have a full bath and a shower here. So the bath is usually what I shower in. Uh, and then we have some towels that I got from Kohl's back when I worked there. Okay, and this is the other side of our bathroom. This is the actual shower where Christopher usually showers. We have one bath mat that we share between both people uh, just at the ground there. And then, yeah, I have a nice little tower, Eiffel Tower painting 3D picture. I don't know exactly what you would call it, but yeah. I got that several years ago and really love how it looks and then 
you got like our trash can and stuff. <laughs> that's really all that's worth moving in here. Moving on through the master bathroom, you have our closet. Okay, so right here we have a little linen closet type of area. So at the bottom right here, we just have all of our dirty laundry that we keep in this basket we got from Target. We have some extra towels on hand uh, for if anything's in the wash or anything like that. Uh, this is a box of things that I am planning on decluttered but haven't made it out of the house yet. So I've like decluttered them from my space, but they're not out of the house. So yeah, we try to go through that and kind of bring it to the donation center about once a month but it is uh, kind of stacking up a little bit there. And then we just have a towel blanket thing at the very top that I use whenever we go to the beach um, or if we just need an extra blanket. Um, moving over here, we have all of my clothes. So I'm not going to go into detail about uh, what you know clothing exactly I have. If you wanna see a comment tour once again, leave it in the comments. But for the most part, I just have uh, pants, casual t-shirts, scarves, pajamas, loungewear, activewear, everything like that is all right here. And then every kind of shirt that I need hung up goes right here. I've got all my socks and underwear, bras, things like that in these two baskets. And then right up here, I have uh, all of my seasonal clothes that are, you know, summer clothes that obviously I'm not going to be using right now. It's in the middle of winter. Okay, so let's go ahead and start up here. This is Christopher's side of the closet. And if anybody was wondering, I know I've gotten some questions before about if he's a minimalist. He's not. Uh, he's definitely become a lot more minimalistic since knowing me. <laughs> but he's not, like, he wouldn't consider himself a minimalist, I don't think. Uh, actually, I know he wouldn't because I've asked him before. He's got his kind of, like, hats, things like that over here. Seasonal clothes up there. And then we both keep our backpacks right there. We use those all the time for overnight trips and when we're traveling, stuff like that. To this side over here, we've got like, his ties, formal wear, stuff like that. Uh, and then hiding right here, we also have a suitcase. Uh, so that, and then we also keep some lighting for my videos in this corner right here. Uh, moving directly behind me, this is just all of Christopher's casual wear, socks, underwear, uh, shirts, pants, everything along those lines. And then in this corner right here, he's got all of his more like uh, things that aren't super casual, but they're like not super dressy either. Just kind of that nice in between of shirts. We have a ton of hangers left over. These were actually on loan from my parents, so we need to give them back to them, but we haven't yet. And then we also have our carry-on suitcase. So we've got the carry-on, the full-size suitcase, and our two backpacks. That's kind of all of our storage stuff. So we need to go back to a few rooms. Let's go ahead and go now to Christopher's office. So this office is also kind of known as the guest bedroom. Whenever we have guests, we do have a mattress that we'll pull out and let them stay in there. But yeah, on a day-to-day -day basis, it serves as Christopher's office. We both work from home. I tend to work from the couch, and then he tends to work from the office, which is right through this door here. Awesome, so this is Christopher's office, and you guys will probably get the hint that this is probably the area where most of his personality has kind of gotten infused into this place. We have an Ikea chair that we picked up a while ago off of Craigslist, just sitting in the corner here. This is like, this side of the room is kind of like the library, and the other side is his office, if you will. So yeah, we've got the Ikea chair, and just a lamp for reading right next to that. Uh, there's like a cactus and a couple other little things on there. And then we have our bookshelf, which is where most of our, like, I mean, all of our books get stored here. Um, and we've got, I mean, we both love reading uh, and want to do more of it too. So we've got a whole bunch of books here that we um, own and are in the midst of reading or have read and love or want to read. And then just got some fun little, like, different things. This is a DIY that I made with my sister uh, before I got married to Christopher. Uh, we've got like a little globe there because once again, we both love travel. Um, and then Christopher's got a couple of fun little things like a signed baseball, picture from our wedding, things like that, uh, hung up. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that's on this side of the office, except for this painting, which I absolutely love, uh, of a trip that Christopher and I took to British Columbia last year. And Christopher actually just painted that. So we've got that hanging up as well.
On this side of the room, we have Christopher's office part of the room. So he does architectural rendering for work. So uh, pretty much all day long, he is sitting at his, this desk. We actually ended up getting him a sit-stand desk from Ikea because he has some back problems. And if you're sitting at a desk all day, that's really not healthy. So uh, giving him the standing option is really cool. Uh, like I said, he does architectural rendering. So he's on uh, you know, Photoshop and SketchUp, Cinema 4D, all of these like software programs all day long. Um, and so having, being able to like reference multiple things at once is really important for him. So we have a lovely th three monitor setup for him. So in addition to being an awesome digital modeler and artist, Christopher is also a great uh, just regular uh, paint traditional artist. And so we have this uh, nice little workspace set up for Christopher so that he can, uh, I mean, he's just displaying a painting right now, but whenever he wants to paint, we've got this nice area set up where he can uh, paint to his heart's content. And yeah, he just finished the painting that I showed you before, and I think he's in the middle of deciding what to paint next. So yeah, just kind of a nice area for him uh, with like proper lighting and I mean, all the detail -y stuff that he gets into when he does that. And of course, this is Christopher's office, so he has his lovely little basketball hoop and Nerf gun hanging right here. <laughs> and then he's got uh, two posters here. Christopher and I are both huge uh, Patriots fans. Uh, we love watching football together. Uh, Christopher, I can thank for getting me into it. Uh, but yeah, we've got Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski posters here. And I would love to get frames for them uh, so that they can kind of be preserved a little bit more than just like the paper, but I mean, Christopher didn't want to wait, so we've just got them pinned up to the wall right now. So moving on through here, we have our guest bathroom. So this is our guest bathroom. It has, you know, sink, toilet, and shower, and yeah, I love it. The marble going throughout this entire apartment, I absolutely am in love with. Same thing with the wood floors, um, and we also have this great mirror here. Uh, just have a nice little hand towel for if people need to dry their hands here and then, you know, some soap, just the bare essentials for what you need in a bathroom. Got the toilet here and obviously, you know, trash can, all that jazz. Then over in here, um, what to say about this room. Christopher has a couple of hobbies that just happen to take up a lot of space. So he, well, I mean, you can come in and see. So. This is our crazy closet, <laughs> um, for lack of a better word. Uh, we have a mattress here that does fold up for guests, and I'll move this out of the way so you can see everything else. Uh, but yeah, uh, Christopher and I both ski, so we've got some skis, uh, which don't take up that much space, but Christopher also drums. So we've got drums down here, up here, where Christopher is standing. We've got kind of bits of drum kit kind of scattered throughout our entire apartment. Uh, Christopher also has a golf set, so we've got that. And then some more of Christopher's canvases. And then over on the other side, we have this little like cabinet full of Christopher's uh, and I's uh, art supplies, because both of us, I mean, Christopher does a lot more than I do, but both of us paint and enjoy other art things. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about up here. So all the way up here, we have all of, I think these are both empty boxes, and I actually have no idea what's in them. Christopher would probably know better than I do. Um, I'm also not sure what this is holding. <laughs> I don't really know most of what's in this closet. I do know that this stuff is our Christmas decorations, and we have a picnic basket, all of our guest linens, so this is the guest blankets, sheets, and pillows. Uh, we have a lot of friends, and we almost always have somebody visiting, uh, or at least almost every other weekend we have someone visiting, so with as many people as we have coming to visit and stay with us, uh, it's really nice to be able to provide them with, you know, I don't know, sheets and towels and stuff like that. So yeah, all of that's kept right there, and that's pretty much everything that's in here. So we are back in the main living space. I didn't show you guys this coat closet earlier. Uh, you can just open it up. We've got Christopher's and I's clothes here, and all of our shoes are in here, as well as Christopher's tools and two Ultimate Frisbee discs. That's everything that we keep in here. Once again, stuff that you, you know, wear going out the door, and so, yeah, just keep all of that in there. And, I mean, there's really not much to say about it. 
going into the last room then, almost finished. Uh, we have our laundry room and this room, we've just got, you know, the washer, dryer, we keep the vacuum and iron in here, as well as our recycling as it's waiting to go out, um, and also our lung boards. That's pretty much everything that we have in here. Uh, Christopher demanded that we display Pooh Bear somewhere in the house, so we've uh, got him chilling up there. And I think this is like windshield washer and some other stuff that's like car related. Uh, but yeah, that's everything that we have in here. Honestly, not much to see. It's all like cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Well guys, that is everything in our house. We don't have any kind of storage locker or anything like that. So everything that you saw in this video today is pretty much everything that we own. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions about uh, where we got anything or just any questions about our home in general, definitely be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond to all of those. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day today. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.